Yes, I'm actually, uh, so I'm going to start out with, um, and this is actively being worked, so I'm going to give you what I have, um, and obviously there's going to be a lot more to come. So yesterday at about a little after 6.30 p.m., a missing persons call came into Buffalo Police uh, over on Sunnyside Place. Uh, we have two children, ages 10 and 8. We have Ayana Hale, age uh, 10, and Edward Hale, age 8, that uh, the investigation revealed through a video canvas uh, appears to have willingly got into a vehicle on lawn they were reported missing, uh, that was at about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. They were reported missing two and a half hours later. Through our investigation, we have additional video and video of a vehicle will be sent to you very shortly, but we do have additional video of the same two children getting into what appears to be the same car on Benzinger at about 6.15 p.m. So about two hours and 15 minutes after they were seen getting into this car on the lawn. Um, so far, what we have is that the person that reported the kids missing is a guardian and has custody of the children. Uh, we are talking to the biological mother. The biological mother lives on Benzinger. We have video of those children willingly getting into a car on Benzinger two hours and 15 minutes after they were uh, seen getting into that original car on Sunny, um, Sunnyside. As I said, uh, there is an active order of protection for the biological mother to not have any contact with those children. So again, we have multiple detectives that have been working this case. We are attempting to identify this vehicle. We do not have a license plate as of yet, but it is a tan, tan colored, uh, maybe gold uh, Chevy Impala, somewhere in the 2009 to 2013 model years. There is no front license plate on that vehicle, but it appears through the still images that we have in the video that that license plate may be on the front windshield on the passenger side. We are actively working our license plate reader systems and our city cameras. That does take time, but we are actively working those to try to get that vehicle passing through an intersection that would then hit off of our license plate reader. So obviously, when we have a license plate reader, we'll find that car instantly or find out what that information is. We're working this the other way of a description of a vehicle using our technology, and that's why I, I, I talk so frequently about the importance of technology. These are the cases that make them even more important to have that technology. We're working all that up right now. We spoke with the biological mother this morning. Uh, she is uh, with police. We are talking to her at this moment, so this, we are not searching for mom, but the children are with somebody else. Um, I will say, uh, I'm sure the question's gonna come, are the children in danger? Uh, we are very concerned. I cannot assess at this point the danger level, but we are extremely concerned. We want to find out who has those kids. Obviously, we want to find those kids and get them returned safely. We are concerned anytime children go missing. In this particular case, yes, we are very concerned until we have a location and we have them back in our custody. Um, just want to go through a couple things. So with that, I will take some questions. Any, why no Amber over there? Well, Amber Alerts are very specific, and we're working up to that. You would need to have a, an exact license plate and other information. Uh, Amber Alerts are not meant to, and this is not the right way to say this for this case, but they're not meant to quote unquote cry wolf. You have to have very exact specific information before you can put an Amber Alert out. We, will, we are working, and if we determine that we get to that stage and we have the information necessary, to uh, put out an Amber Alert, and we have to, again, fill all the boxes, the necessary information to do that, then we would do that at that point. We're still working on getting to that point. So this appears to be a domestic situation. I'm not gonna call it a domestic because I don't know right now where those kids are. However, as I said, the biological mother uh, has an address on Benzinger. At 6, 16 p.m. yesterday, we have video of the two kids and that same vehicle appears to be that same vehicle that was on Sunnyside that they got into. Looks like they're willingly getting into this vehicle again two hours and 15 minutes later on Benzinger. And as I said, the, the biological mother lives on Benzinger. Were they leaving her address to get into the car? The video that we have show that they're in that area. Uh, I don't, uh, at this point, I can't tell you that I have. We're still doing a lot of video canvas. Video canvas is extensive and it takes time, uh, but we are still working a lot of areas. We've gotten 
uh, video so far from uh, Buffalo schools. We've gotten them from private entities. So we're working a lot of angles. We have a lot of detectives working on this case uh, to locate those kids. I will get, we're in the process and it may be happening now, getting uh, some good still imagery of that vehicle out to you all in the media. It will go out on our social media as well. That's happening right now. So you might have it uh, at your stations as we speak. Did the mom ever see the kids? Uh, that's part of our investigation, so I'm, I'm not going to get into the interviews that were conducted this morning and are being conducted right now, but um, we are um, we're, we're looking into all that. Anyone else? When we have more information, we will continue to put information out. We will continue to get, uh, to get that out, but just know that we are aggressively working this case, and uh, our, uh, our Special Victims Unit, again, they handle a multitude of cases, and missing persons is one of those aspects that the special victims unit is charged with handling but they are uh, we have a number of detectives that are working this case